Hey, what's up everyone? So I am on my way for the transfer. Um, I'm feeling pretty nervous right now. Um, I've been breaking out because I've been taking all this um, progesterone oil in my butt. I've been, I've been taking all this progesterone oil and it's just been making me break out. I've been having like rage issues where like I've just been really hormonal. Like last night I had like a big fit over a mess in my house. It's always a mess because I have a bunch of kids, but I just had a really big fit yesterday because of it. Um, I'm pretty nervous. Hopefully everything goes good. Please have sticky thoughts for me um, that it sticks. And um, yeah, we're just on our way. I had to drive three hours. Actually, it took me almost four hours because there was some road closure. And I had to um, go around. So usually it takes me about three hours to get um to where the clinic is, but this time it took about four. Alrighty, so I just got to the um, fertility clinic and they're having me do some blood work right now. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the transfer. I think I'm like, I'm totally lost. I think these like progesterone oil shots are affecting me because I have no idea where I am. I can't find the lab. I went back and I got the treasure map, so hopefully we find our way. How, how do you feel that mommy's gonna have a baby if it's a monopoly? Hmm? How do you feel? Hey, so I am in um, their office area and they gave me this really pretty, um, really pretty poem and um, I'll just like share a picture of it with you guys but it's really nice and um, we're just kind of waiting so I'm just kind of quiet but, um, but yeah I'm just feeling really nervous really really nervous but I think that's what the Valium is for I haven't taken it yet but I don't know the poem just kind of made me feel like nervous <laughs> but happy and peaceful um, I'm just waiting for them to come in. I'm already inside the uh, waiting room. Um, I was doing some meditation with one of the doctors and um, I'm feeling pretty relaxed. I'm not so nervous anymore. And I, I'm hoping for a really good, good outcome today. Hey, what's up? So it's done. Everything. They put two embryos and it didn't hurt at all. I was waiting the whole time. I was like, okay, I'm waiting for it to hurt. I'm waiting for it to hurt. It didn't hurt. I didn't feel it. Um, it just feel, it kind of just felt like a pap smear kind of thing, but usually a pap smear kind of pinches and it, I didn't even feel pinch. I didn't feel anything. Um, I don't know how other people, if, if, if that's like the same experience for everyone else, but I didn't feel anything. I'm currently just laying here and I'm supposed to lay here for about 30 minutes. So um, I'm just gonna lay here for 30 minutes and see what I do. I'm, so I was speaking, so before we did this, I, I spoke with one of the doctors um, and um, we were just kind of talking about how the baby, um, you know, how to kind of make sure that not just the babies um, and the embryos, but myself, how to grow and how to remain calm. So he was just kind of telling me about, um, he was telling me that, you know, your, your body is like, it's like an apple tree and, and you want it to flower, you want it to blossom and you want to eventually have apples. But sometimes, and you know, it's life, you're, you're going to get hit with a storm and what do storms do? Storms, they make the flowers go away and without flowers, there's no apples in the spring. So, Basically, 
you to set up um, and looking at find the eye of the storm. I find that is by meditating. So we meditated. Um, I thought I, I thought it was pretty cool. He um, kind of taught me how to just do simple meditation. Just kind of hold your hold your stomach and, and feel your body rise and fall, and, and just kind of focus on that and, and focus on yourself because you're you are your own universe. And he just said that that's one of the things that's. Um, that's very important. Not not to stress, not to um, you know, not to be angry because those types of things cause us, cause acidity in your in your body. And the embryos can't thrive in acidity. They um, they basically die. So I want to make sure that I need to make sure that I don't cause any acidity. But just to take it easy for the next couple of days but also to make sure you know just just to kind of have that not just for the embryos but just in, in general life and I thought that was pretty cool I actually really liked talking to him about that um, because I agree with it it's um, you know just meditating you kind of get, gain perspective and, and especially when you're going through something hard, you want to gain perspective so that you, you make the right choice with a clear mind. So I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm just kind of here. Um, they gave me Valium. I don't know what Valium is supposed to feel like. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to do or anything, but they did give me that. I drank it just a little bit before he did the procedure. So um, it's basically just supposed to relax you. Yeah. And it's, I kind of really do feel relaxed. But I just, I really want to take into heart what, um, what he said about meditate. What he said about meditating and stuff. So we'll see. I want these babies to flourish and, and, and become little apples and have little babies. Yeah, that, that's it. Like I said, it didn't hurt at all, which I was surprised. Um, so I'm just gonna be here, just kind of wait until they tell me it's time to go. I think I'm supposed to lay here for about 30 minutes and then just kind of take it easy for the next couple of days, not stress. And you know, having four kids, that's <laughs> that's definitely gonna be a challenge, but it's it's something that I, I'm gonna have to do. And uh, you know. You're just gonna take, take deep breaths every time you're feeling stressed and um, and find the eye of the storm. Alright, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll make a follow-up video later. I do have to keep taking um, the medication, so I'm currently on estradiol, medrol, and um, progesterone shots. And I've been doing those myself. I'll demonstrate on how to do them yourself soon just because um, I'm not I, a lot of people that I do see they have someone else do it but my, my partner didn't want to do it um, he saw the needle he almost fainted so um, I've been doing it myself and honestly I kind of like needles anyway so it doesn't really bother me but my butt <laughs> does hurt. I get a, um, a lot of little pokes all around and I'm gonna have to keep taking them. I'm not 100% sure for how long I'm gonna have to keep taking those shots of progesterone. But, um, but yeah, I'll have to take them for a bit. All right, I hope you guys like this video and if they said before, um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll be seeing you